Hi everyone. Uh, in today's video, so I'm going to be working with pinks and, and a little bit of yellows and a little white. I had this idea of trying to do dots within dots, so we will see how this turns out. The background for this I painted with this Royal Fuchsia. And I just marked the center. I figured I'm going to do a very basic design and see what this will turn out to be if I try and do this dots within dots. So we'll see. This is number 22. And I'm going to do oh, a yellow dot for my center. This bright yellow color. I'm using Decolor paints today. So, my idea is to do mainly bigger dots with teeny tiny little dots in the center of them and then do dots around that. I don't know how that's going to turn out. If it's going to turn out, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, I'm going to use all bigger dots. Let's see. Let's go with the number 14. And I'm going to do this really light pink, uh, baby pink. Just going to do four dots around it. And I'm going to do some smaller dots on this too, but for the most part, I want to keep it bigger to begin with. And that baby pink came out kind of oily, so I got to mix it. Okay. And then number 14, I'm going to do four dots. I had this idea in my head of just lines all over the place, dots all over the place, and dots within dots, and I don't know, it was just crazy. But you can't control dreams, and that's where I came up with this idea, so we'll see how this turns out. I don't know that those are going to be super big enough to do it. I'm going to do some bigger dots. Let's go way up there. Let's go to like a number 24. And I'm going to use oh, this carousel pink color. And I'm going to do four dots on the opposite sides of the ones I just did. Get this. Okay, let's see. Number 24. I really don't like working with the bigger dots because the paint, sometimes you have to swirl the paint around. And that drives me kind of crazy. But we'll see how this goes. See, I'm going to swirl that. The paint just kind of globs up. All right. And it does, it will lay flatter. If you let it sit, but I like to swirl it out because sometimes it doesn't fill in. I'm going 
just swirl it around there. Even it out. Now this is going to have to be completely dry before we can try another layer of dots on it. But we'll see. I need to blow it dry. Oops. Oh, I don't like that big. I'm going to go down to a 22. And I got a different color yellow. Let's go with this cad cadmium. I don't know how you pronounce that. And I'm going with the number 22, and I'm going to do, oh, I think four dots. I'm just curious how this is going to look with the dots within the dots. So I'm going to keep it kind of a basic pattern. I don't know how busy it's going to make it. I want to add some smaller dots in here because I don't want it to just be this big, huge thing either. So let's go with oh, number six. And I'm just going to do some dots around these pink ones. I'll start out with a corner dot. And then number six. And this is that lighter color. This would be that baby pink color that I'm using. I think I'm going to do maybe two dots on each side. And I'm still using the number six. I'm going to add some white into this mixture. Let's go to, what kind of white do I have? This is Snow Titanium White. I'm going to add a few white dots on here and brighten it up a little bit. Let's go, oh, I got with a big one. Let's go with 16. And I'm going to put a white dot in each one of those corners of what we just did. could fit a lot of little dots in between here and I'm probably going to do that but I'm going to hold off until I can get this dry and do what I want to do in the centers and then we'll see how busy it's looking. I'm going to go to this Vivid Violet now. And let's get rid of that. Um, let's do another big one. This is a number 26. We'll go really big. Let's see how this goes. With the Vivid Violet. 
And then I'm going to put it right out from these yellow ones. It's kind of hard to see in the camera because the colors are kind of close in shade, but when they dry, I think they'll be different. I think I'm going to lock some dots around those so that they're more prominent. You can't see them now, but well, you can see them kind of. They'll be a lot better if I just dot around them. I'm going to use the number three, and I'm going to use that white, and I'm going to dot around those big purple ones I just put down. I'm going to do three dots, center dot, and then three dots to each side with the number three. And then I'm going to go down in size. I just don't like how the dotting tools, um, as the paint wears off of them, they're not they don't form perfect dots like I like them to. So that's why I go down in size. three on each and I'm gonna go down to a number two okay I'll probably do three more We'll go down to the number one and finish them off. Okay. Now I think I want to go around those yellow ones too. And I don't know. I think I'm going to start with the number two. 
or these white ones I want to go around with the yellow I meant. Now I'm going to use that KDM yellow color and go around these. And I'm doing one center one, and then I'm going four on each side. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to go all the way. Now I'm going to pause the video for just a minute and I'm going to blow this dry because I want to do some of the dots in the center to decide how I'm going to finish this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so they're not super completely dry, but they are a lot drier than they were. And I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we will see. Now I think I'm going to start with a number five. And I'm going to do a white dot in the center of each one of these pink ones. Okay. And now I'm going to go down to a number two. And let's see what color. Oh, do I want to do white or yellow? All right, I'm using the number two. I think I'm just going to do white for these and see what they look like. So I'm going to do like I normally do and do across the top and I probably could have made these bigger but this is my first time ever trying this and I don't know and then I'm gonna end up with eight dots around each one gonna do the same for this one kind of bubbled up a little bit because of my paint but it's not the easiest thing to do maybe I need to water the paint down a little bit kind of looks like a flowery pattern different something Another idea to play around with at least. I'm going to do that on each one of these. Not sure I'm really liking it, but I can never tell until you're done. And I'm all for trying new ideas. Because you don't know until you do it. I think it'd be kind of cool if you could get super huge dots and then do like a different mandala pattern in each dot within a mandala pattern, if that makes sense. Definitely different. Not something I'm used to seeing. Okay. 
let's go with some other colors here. Let's see, what can we do? Those big purple ones are just begging for something. I think I might do pink dots inside of them. Or maybe a pink center and yellow around it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to use the number six for my center dots on those. And use that cadmium yellow again. I'm just going to do one dot in the center of each of these. And again, it's bubbled up because my paint Whenever I do the big ones, I don't know why, but they leave big old bubbles. And that's why I try and smooth them out. Okay. Now I'm going to go down. Let's go to a number four. We'll keep it a little bit bigger this time. Right. And I'm going to use... Oh... Let's do that baby pink color. Now I think I'm going to do one on either side and then two between. So I'm going to end up with six instead of eight. on these. And it kind of makes it look like a flowery pattern. So again, one on the left and right, and then just kind of eyeball it and do two more on either side. And these are kind of looking like flowery petals because of that bump in the middle. It's running down the side. And that's okay, I don't mind that. It's looking kind of cute actually. This one, one on either side. And I'm using the number four. I didn't lay it down. I think I set it, but I didn't lay it down. I'll add it on the video. And I don't want these all to be dots within a dot, so I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to just dot the other ones normal. So I'm going to use the number 10, and I'm going to do... That last color, what was that? That vivid, no, that wasn't it. No, well, maybe it was. Vivid violet, I think. And I'm going to do a dot in these white ones. Yeah, that's vivid violet. And I think I'm also going to use that in the number 10 and do a dot in these yellow ones, too. Maybe even one in the center. There we go. I think I'm going to go down, let's go to the number eight. And I'm going to do white dots in these pinks, the baby pink color. I'm still going to use the white, but I'm going to go down in size. I'm going to dot those baby pink ones that are walked around. Well, walked around those. Let's go to 
Oh, number number Okay. Now I have a tendency to want to fill the entire thing up, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to oh, maybe just leave it. I think I'm going to add some more top dots. So I'm going to put you on pause again and dry this. Add some more top dots and see. Okay. I'm back. So let's add, let's go and add this, it's the carousel pink color I'm going to use to top dot with next. And I'm going to dot on these white ones. And I think with a number five. going to do that on these purples that are on the yellows too. And I'm still going to use that same color and I'm on a dot on those florals. Um, or what these, what I'm calling florals. I'm going to go down to a number two. And I'm still going to use that carousel pink color. And I'm going to dot the centers. And I think I'm going to use the same color and dot these two, the white ones. And then still using the number two, I'm going to go the white. And I'm going to top dot on those these yellow ones over here. And I think I like it that way. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't want to make it too busy. So let me know what you think about that. Doing Dots on dots. Something new. Kind of cool. I like it. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.